guys, so for today's video, I wanted to give you a list of coping mechanisms. I actually got this list at one of the hospital stays that I had. So um, there's actually 117 of them. Um, I just highlighted some of them that I thought were kind of stood out the most. Some of them are a little bit outdated. Some of them seem like they're really more kid oriented, I guess, than young adult or adult oriented. So I kind of skipped by those as well. So just to start off, I'm going to go through some of these, maybe things that can help you when you're in depression, healthy coping skills, or maybe even help you calm down when you're in mania or anxiety as well. So first one being do a puzzle. I love puzzles. I just bought a puzzle and I'm doing it right now. Well, not right now, but that is a healthy coping skill. I can agree with that. Draw, paint, or color. Blow bubbles. I thought that was an interesting one. Um, just go outside and blow bubbles. Something simple. Make you feel a little bit better. Go to the library. Visit an animal shelter. Pet your cat or dog. Um, animals, obviously, are always going to be calming and comforting. Always unconditionally loving. So there's a good one there. Clean or organize a space. So maybe clean out a closet. Clean out a... Maybe clean out a room or clean out a section of a room and just make yourself feel better in your living space. Um, let's see, play a game on the computer, turn on all the lights. So if you're in complete darkness, that might feed into your depression. Turn on all the lights, get as much light as possible, and you may feel a little bit better. So but I think that's what they were trying to get at there. Sit in the sun and close your eyes. Um, this one I thought was another real simple one, kind of like blowing bubbles that I've never thought to try before. So just maybe kind of a relaxation technique. Throw rocks into the woods or downstream, rock skipping down a stream, you know. Sip on a cup of hot chocolate or tea, uh, coffee as well. Compliment someone if you're out at the grocery store or if you're out shopping, retail shopping, you see someone, you like their hair, or you like their outfit, their shirt, just give them a compliment on it. Read. Reading is great. I like to read. Um, reading definitely is a good time passer. It can make the time go by really quickly. Jump up and down. Another kind of simple one. I think this one will really kind of help when it comes to mania. If you just have all this restlessness and all this these racing thoughts and all this activity that's going on and you don't know what to do just jump up and down and try and let it out so i think i'm going to try that next time if, if need be write a nice note to yourself and carry it in your pocket play solitaire you know best game on the computer play solitaire go for a brisk 10 minute walk or longer i love long walks personally um, I've taken hour-long walks before, and those are awesome to me, so I recommend walking of any form or any length. Dance to music, call a friend, invite a friend over, write positive, uh, uh, write positive uh, affirmations on note cards and decorate them. There's kind of an arts and crafts activity I guess you can do. Rearrange your bedroom, work in the garden or flower bed. Um, this is one that I guess isn't really relevant to everyone. The one below it, plant a flower in a pot. Everyone can do that whether you have a garden or not. So that's a good one. Sew, knit, or crochet. There's a million starter kits out there. Like if you go to a bookstore, you can pick one up. So that's something good to do. Watch a funny or inspirational movie, make a collage with pictures of your favorite things. I did collages in the hospital and that was my favorite activity that I did. So I would recommend doing collages. Um, journal, write a poem, scream into a pillow. We all know that one. We've heard that one before. Jump rope. Another thing to maybe get that extra energy out. Sing your favorite song out loud. 
think think of three food for every letter of the alphabet without skipping any. So that's kind of like a mindful activity, I guess. So that would be an interesting one to try. Write down how you're feeling and why. Read it one time and then put it away. Visualization. Close your eyes and imagine yourself in a beautiful place. How does it smell? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? Write something positive about yourself for every letter of the alphabet. Decorate it and hang it where you will see it every day. I thought that one was a really cool one. Um, that one, maybe, maybe I'll even try doing that myself. So, yeah, I, I like that one. Write a letter to someone. Nobody really writes letters anymore. Everyone always texts and emails and so forth. So writing a physical letter to say your best friend or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, I think that's a cool idea. Volunteer, um, that's really broad, but volunteering is great. I personally volunteer in an animal shelter. Offer to walk a neighbor's dog or your own dog. Find a safe, quiet place to sit and stay there until you know you can be safe. So, um, for example, I know there's a park that kind of has like a woodsy area that's kind of secluded. Not really woodsy, but like a bushy sort of area where there's lots of tall bushes. And it's a nice place where I can sit and just be calm and read and not worry about other people staring at me or even really noticing me. So um, there's an example of that. Draw a cheerful picture outside of sidewalk chalk. Who hasn't done that? I know that's a kid kid oriented one, but hey, I would be down for doing that. So I think that's a cool one. Do a crossword seek and find or Sudoku Sudoku puzzle. Um, definitely those are things that I did in the hospital, so I would recommend doing those as well. Visit an inspirational website, um, like so Upwor Upworthy, that's a good one. Um, I like visiting Post Secret as well. Those are good sites to go to. TEDx is another one, watch some talks. Um, put on your favorite outfit, do your makeup, that always makes you feel better. Um, if you're a girl, put on your makeup. If you're a guy, put on your makeup, I don't know. Draw a cartoon, um, even if you're not a drawer, maybe just try to make something up just for fun, get a how to, how to draw a book and kind of go from there. Go on a walk and take photos of flowers on a cell phone or digital camera. Challenge yourself to find 15 different kinds. This obviously has got to be in the springtime or else you're not going to have much luck, but I thought that one was really cool. Another thing that I think I'd like to try personally. So a good kind of physical and mindful activity there. Clean one room of your house. That's kind of repetitive. Window shop. Um, window shopping is good. Of course, if you're manic and you're in a state of impulsive buying where you want to buy everything that you see, then I would recommend maybe not window shopping. So that one's kind of up in the air. Play a board game with a friend or sibling, that's calming. Stare at a picture, notice all the details and create a story using those elements. So I thought that was a real creative one, just kind of a way to distract your mind and get your mind really focusing on something else. Play with silly putty or modeling clay. Um, you can actually make clay models, there's like how to's and tutorials you can look into and have fun with that blog, blog, or blog, write poetry. And so those are the ones that I highlighted off of this list. I'm sure that you can find um, this specific list. I don't know what website this came from, but it's titled 117 Healthy Coping Skills. So if you Google search that, you might be able to find this exact sheet. Otherwise, I'm sure there's other things out there on the internet. Uh, healthy coping skills that you can look up and find. So, yeah, I mean, that's really all I wanted to tell you guys today was share some of these coping skills to help you in your emotional times of need. And 
until the next video, I guess. I will see you guys all later. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more, please subscribe. Alright, thanks you guys. I love you. Bye.